Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clara's channel. Thank you for clicking. This is episode 60 on Mr. Bright Project. All right, once again, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for your support, it's taking time to watch my channel. This is my four bedroom house and the first floor, I have a two unit, two bedroom apartment, okay? Um, the purpose of this is very strategic and I urge each and every one that if you have the chance, can you put up you know a rental property that will generate an income for you whilst you're not around okay all of us you know are out there in diaspora working so hard and therefore putting up a very huge big mansion yes it's nice though uh, yeah some people are well to do they have big jobs big salaries so well they can put up big houses yeah, so if you have the chance and you want to put up in a rental property as well why not? You can do so, so that you can generate some income whilst you're out there. You understand? Yes, it will be a generational income for you. All right. So we are back at my rooftop. Um, the plastering works are done. Both the left and the right plastering's are done. Um, as of now, our total expenditure is 168,048 pesos. The reason for this is that if you look at the previous episode, which was episode 59, our total expenditure there was 164,748. But now I've been asked to purchase another um, 600 pieces of blocks. And I'll be showing you where I'm going to lay those blocks. Okay. Yes. Not at the rooftop because there's no place here anymore. All right. So I'll be showing you that. So there are some few patches where we need to do plastering. Once those plastering are done, then we're going to do the screeding of the gutter itself. As you can see, the floor has not been screeded. And this needs to be done strategically to slope the screed towards the pipe. You understand? Some people will not put pipe in the gutter, just like I have done now. They don't put pipe. They just create a slope. But that will cost you a lot because um you you need to increase the the height of the mortar you understand you need to increase the height of the mortar in order to get the slope all the way from here to the back but when you have pipe situated in you know certain this distance an appreciable distance uh, you have to raise the mortar on the left and then on the right the pipe would be in the middle so the, the water will just be going through so you don't spend much on screening and that of sand and cement so this area needs to be plastered and that pillar needs to be you know cast and this whole area we are going to clear the the wall board do the plastering and then i'm going to lay a block at the edge okay i'm going to lay a two course block at the edge of it so that is one part that i bought the blocks for and then another location i will show you why i have to buy 600 pieces of blocks you understand for the plastering, I have to employ a different people to do the plastering because this time Stephen Opon was busy, Christopher Dade was busy, Akwesinji has always been busy, he is not in Accra, he is in Kumasi, and Michael Fasa was also busy. Everybody was tight. So I had to find, you know, other masons within my vicinity to come and do the plastering for me. Why? Because I was trying to meet my target by the end of February I needed to finish everything before it starts raining you understand yes and that was my goal so I have no time to wait for my artisans to come and do the plastering Michael started the earlier plastering but after a while he left okay so the remaining plastering I had to find other people within my area to come and do the plastering for me and I have to pay them all so in my next episode I'll be sharing those details with you how much I paid for sometimes I get two masons sometimes three masons they have to charge me by day which is 140 Ghana cities per mason okay and a laborer was taking 100 Ghana cities understand so i have to do all that and i will share the details with you as of now the roof area is ready you can see that this portion also have been plastered 
we've cleared the board everything is done but the edge is left i'm going to lay two course blocks right over there as per the design if you watch my 3d okay there's a design there apart from that i have to do what we call coping coping so i'm going to do coping at the edge on the left hand side the top block as you see all the way all around the peripheral i have to do what we call coping and coping comes in different designs you know, different shapes so yes i'll be doing all of that i'll be sharing some of the pictures when it comes to coping with you so you can understand what coping means you understand so i have to do all of that and then screening so now i'm ready for boatin who is from cape Epra, to you know install my roofing sheet at this time i was finalizing who was going to install my roofing sheet you understand and i have already pinpointed cape Epra, um, uh, boatin whose number is on the screen um, i chose this guy because he was prompt he was honest he was constantly checking you know i didn't even have to pay him at a point i told him look let me give you money for your transportation yes and i, I really showed that appreciation to him because i have to pull him to come and he checked everything even when he comes he checked the carpenter what he's doing as per the roofing sheet i was going to install he wanted to make sure if the woods have been laid properly okay if the trusses have been laid properly he checks everything and that's one thing i like about boating so my 600 blocks came in and i have to get you know people to take the blocks up and normally they charge 50 pesos per block okay 50 pesos sometimes they charge 75 pesos per block so i have to pay this um these members or these laborers to take all the blocks to the first floor okay and that exactly what they are doing so these blocks as i made mention i'm going to lay some of them at the edge of the slab just two cores now the remaining blocks i'm going to lay them underneath the ceiling noggins you know i want the the, the video to get there so i can explain where we are going to lay those blocks you know after they they've done the roofing underneath they did what we call the ceiling noggins now underneath the ceiling noggins there's a gap and that gap i'm told i have to fill that gap you understand yes it gives the wood some stamina or some strength and therefore i have to buy all these 600 pieces of blocks okay so this is another apartment so we decided to distribute the blocks into the various apartment so that they can easily pick the blocks and then go up and then lay them in the meantime i decided to extend the height of my fence wall okay this is the, the block you know partitioning between me and the person that i bought the land from because when i bought the land it was already fenced but in the middle uh, was left open so i have to you know lay those blocks so from here all the way to the main gate that is a service road right over there that's where i installed the big gate and this area i decided to leave for future prospect those woods are for the ceiling noggins you understand those woods are for the ceiling noggins you know in episode 59 i told you that um i did install all my ac okay air condition from the ground floor all the way to the first floor you understand yes so this was done somewhere in february okay but today as i speak with you which is the 3rd of june 2023 um mr cancer was not around and some people came to the house they stole all my copper pipes okay they cut all the copper pipes at the ground floor you know when they lay the pipe there's about two feet of a pipe you know protruding outside that is what they will connect the outdoor unit to it mr cancer left home unannounced okay i didn't even know he was not around and when he came back he didn't even notice that the copper pipes have been cut you understand so he sent me a video um, based on the current work they were doing in the house and in a video i noticed that my copper pipes are not there and 
that day, I think two days ago, I've been so sad because it was the main reason why I did not do the AC installation up until now. So I want to urge all of you that please be very careful. Okay, people are coming over. They are watching you. They come, please give me some job. But they are not coming for a job. They are coming to spy your house and see vulner vulnerability. You understand? You know, if there is an opportunity for them to come and steal you. So don't bring or entertain anybody who come into your house. Okay, make sure those that come to your house are within the cycle uh artisan that you trust and you know that they will not turn their back and come and steal from you you understand so if you need my carpenter mr samuel Adu, he's the one that did the roofing i paid six thousand ghana cities okay for both the roofing and then the ceiling organs this is not just because you know there's a lot of wood on the ground he's going to do a lot of work and he charged me. We started from eight thousand, and I have to bargain all the way to six thousand. Now we brought the sand, everything here to do the screening, okay, of those areas, and then the screening of the gutters. As of now, we are ready for the roofing. Uh, we are ready for the roofing. Everything is done, except the screening of the gutter. That is the only thing left for me now, and I prefer to do the roofing before we do the screening. That is my goal. So most probably in my next episode, which is gonna be episode 61, we should be seeing the roofing, you understand? We should be seeing the roofing. And little by little, I think I'm getting there. Okay, so I asked the team to come and clean the entire area, clean the room, remove all the boards outside so we can make room for piping work at this time you, you already know that i bought all my piping works so that right after the roofing they can start all the electrical piping and the plumbing you understand so this is my service road this is where i put some of the stones and the sand are you with me yes so i'm very strategic i plan according to how much money i have and that is how i go so we are going to install ceiling noggins here. We are going to use two by two. We use two by two for all the ceiling noggins. Are you with me? And it is very, very important. That is what your plasterboard is going to hang on. Are you with me? Yes. If not necessarily. Yes, sometimes the plasterboard, they don't even use, they use wall angles. Yes, they use wall angles. Olden days where we use plywood for our ceiling, the plywood will be installed on the ceiling organs. Are you with me? Yes. So that, that is one aspect. So here I have, this is the dining area. The windows are big for proper ventilation. There's a visitor's toilet right over there. So this is the big hall area. This entire area is the hall for one apartment. Okay. And to your left, you're entering into a lobby to both bedrooms. You understand? So the entire area have been cleaned unlike before you understand so Mr. Kansa and the team are going to do all the piping work right here based on my instructions based on how I asked them to position it I with me so everything here was okay we are checking for anything that perhaps might look different or something like that we have to check everything if everything is okay are you with me yes yeah, so lovely people I think this will bring us to the end of this video. This is a general overview. Okay. Yes. And hopefully in episode 61, you should be seeing the roofing and other major works that were carried out. And those wood down there are going to be used for the ceiling noggins. Are you with me? Yes. It hasn't been a small journey. <laughs> so this area is what I plan to build some stores. Maybe I'll put some two stores over there. Will that be okay? <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. I really admire you so much. Uh, from me to you, it's Shalom. God bless you wherever you are. Bye-bye.